Begin right now in Mid City, where a deadly scene this morning has left neighbors rattled. Police say overnight gunfire has left one woman dead and four other women with gunshot wounds. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield is live where those shots were fired, Ariel, and what led up to it. Well, Elizabeth, this is the intersection here at South Solomon and Bobden Street, where we talked to neighbors. They tell us early this morning around 2 a.m. They came outside to find an overturned car and several women injured with gunshot wounds. Neighbors we talked to say the incident stemmed from Shamrock, a bar off of Carrollton, and it spilled into this neighborhood. Police say two parties were involved in an altercation at the bar, and after the altercation, one group was leaving the area in their car when an unknown gunman opened fire on them. The car crashed into a fire hydrant and flipped here at this intersection. Police say they found four victims suffering from gunshot wounds and the fifth victim, a 29 year old woman died from her injuries at the hospital. A neighbor says crime from local bars is spilling into this usually quiet neighborhood and they are concerned. So it's just concerning to me that, you know, something that's happening at a bar um, is spilling over into our neighborhoods. I don't consider this an unsafe neighborhood. And so, you know, it's just concerning that it seems to be attracting um, an undesirable crowd. And we reached out to the coroner's office to find out who that 29 year old woman was. We haven't heard back just, just yet. This is an ongoing investigation. We'll keep you updated as we know more. Reporting here on Bowden Street, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. And Ariel turning right. And out of the story only on WDSU, the family of a woman who was shot and killed after leaving a mid city bar over the weekend is identifying her as Raven Francis of New Orleans, a young mother of four. WDSU reporter Shea O'Connor live at the corner of South Solomon and Bowdoin, where five women were shot, killing Francis. Shea. Travers and Randy, yeah, that's absolutely correct. Now, a family tells me that pretty much that Francis was only 29 years of age. They also tell me that her youngest child is only six months old. I'm told that Raven had just left her job um, as a security guard when she decided to go to celebrate a friend's birthday. She was sweet, love helping people, love like her children, nothing stopped, everything stopped for her children. Now, family is having to come to grips with the loss of the mother of four. There's so many people that really, like, genuinely loved her. Raven Francis' oldest sister says Raven was reluctant to go out Saturday night after working her shift as a security guard. She didn't want to go out. She didn't want to drink. She didn't want to participate in nothing he had going on. She just wanted to come out and help celebrate a friend birthday. Francis' sister says an altercation happened. This video was sent to WDSU of the incident. We're told Francis did not cause the fight. She never passed words. She never interacted with them no type of way. It was just, your sister's fighting, I'm fighting. Francis' family members say after the fight, they stayed on scene for at least 30 minutes, trying to find a cell phone that was lost. Right after, they drove a loved one to her car in the same area. That was premeditated. That was definitely premeditated. Family says Francis was driving away when gunfire erupted. Just all I can remember is I'm just telling her, go, 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 go. Five women were shot. Family says Francis was hit in the head. The vehicle she was driving flipped over after hitting a fire hydrant. She died from her injuries. Her sisters believe the people involved in the fight also fired those fatal shots. They are hoping arrests will be made. There's videos going around of both cars with license please. It's a lot going around, so what's going on? The mother known to do anything for her kids, now gone. She didn't deserve this at all, at all. Family tells us that they never would have thought that a brawl would lead to a life loss. They tell me they plan to hold a vigil for the mom on tomorrow. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on that. But in the meantime, if you do know anything that could lead to arrest, you're being urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 822-1111. Reporting live from Mid-City, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News. Good evening, I'm Lauren McCoy. A mother of four is dead after a shooting early Sunday morning and her mother disputes an OPD's report of what happened. Ashlyn Brothers joins us with those details. Lauren, Trina Francis disagrees with an OPD about how many people were injured and the extent of their injuries. She says her daughter Raven would have turned 30 
next month. Raven was a good, a good mother. She did anything she had to do for her kids. The mother of 29-year-old Raven Marie Francis says her daughter leaves behind four children, the oldest 10, the youngest just six months old. She don't be out here like that in these streets. And she just so happened to come out this, that night and lose her life behind somebody else's problems. <sighs> My baby didn't deserve this. Trina Francis wants her grandbabies to remember the good times, the activities, and trips taken with their mom. They're going to miss her so much. She was special to them. <clears throat> Only thing I could do is hold them and tell them it's going to be all right. Mommy's all right. Mommy's going to be all right. It all started around 2.40 Sunday morning when police say two parties got into a fight outside the Shamrock Bar and Grill near the corner of South Carrollton and Tulane Avenue. They do need to have better security over here just with the area and just with the crowd, you know, too many things pop off. The NOPD says one of the parties was a group of five women, all of whom were shot when trying to drive away. During the chaotic escape, police say the group's driver struck a fire hydrant and flipped their car at the intersection of South Solomon and Bowdoin Streets. This happened just down the street from Jalen Dorothy's house. She wants people to calm down, be careful consuming alcohol, and put the guns down. Be mindful, don't be quick to react. You never know what somebody else has or what they're going through. Trina disputes the police account, telling me there were four women injured, not five. She says three of the victims were her daughters and one was their friend. She says Raven was shot in the head and died. One of her sisters was grazed by a bullet to her arm and the other two were injured in the crash, not by gunfire. Trina says Raven had recently bought a new truck and started a job as a security guard. She calls Raven sweet and outgoing, saying she liked to have fun, had expensive taste, and a heart of gold. She was my Hollywood girl. She loves to get her face made up, her hair done. She liked to hang out with her sisters. That was her best friends. Her best friends were by her side until the very end. With the help of God and family and prayers, we're going to get through this. The brawl broke out in the same parking lot where police say two women were shot on July 13th. Arrested a suspect in a weekend shooting that left one woman dead and four others injured. NOPD says it began with a fight on Carrollton Avenue early Saturday morning. They believe 24 year old Shante Mark fired a gun at it as a, at a car rather as it drove away. She was taken into custody today in Chalmette and police say they expect to make more arrest. An hour ago, an Orleans Parish judge set the bond at $1 million for Shante Mark. She's the woman arrested in connection to the Mid-City killing that left a young mother dead. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live at criminal court with more on Mark's alleged violent history. Shay. Good evening to you, Travis. And Gita, yes, Shantae Mark is being charged with second-degree murder. Now, a court-appointed attorney actually said earlier that Mark works at a hospital here in New Orleans and that she also has four young kids from the ages of three to seven that she cares for. Now, just last year, Mark was also arrested on second-degree murder charges for her alleged role in the death of her ex-boyfriend. I'm told he was 19 years old. 24-year-old Shante Mark has been booked here at Orleans Justice Center for her involvement in the shooting death of 29-year-old mother of four, Raven Francis. Witnesses say Francis had been involved in a fight outside of Shamrock in Mid-City before she was shot in the head while driving from the area. Everybody really loved my sister. Like, she was really the lit one. Like, she was lit. I don't know. I'm going to just miss her. WDSU spoke with France's oldest son, only 10 years of age, following that horrific shooting. And I love, I miss my mama a lot. She's pretty funny, and she, and she was a nice 
she was a nice person. NOPD says through investigation, Mark was identified as the person responsible for the murder. But court documents show Mark was also charged with second degree murder last year for her alleged role in the murder of her ex-boyfriend, Darren Mueller, in March of 2023. According to these court records, surveillance video from a long Sheffman tour identified Mark near the scene of Mueller's killing. The two getting into the same vehicle at some point before he was found dead. Those charges later refused by the Orleans Parish DA's office, who says there was insufficient evidence to charge her in this case. Criminal defense attorney Tanya Faya weighing in. The DA's okay. office did not believe with the evidence that they had that they would be able to successfully prosecute the case. They have an ethical obligation before they accept charges to truly have a reasonable belief that there is enough evidence to get over the standard of beyond a reasonable doubt. Gina and Travers, on your screen right now, a statement that we just received not too long ago from the DA's office. It pretty much reads that they're confirming that there was not enough solid evidence to directly connect Mark to that murder of her ex-boyfriend. They say prosecution requires proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And you can actually view this full statement by visiting our website, WDSU.com. Reporting live from Criminal Court, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.